Pros and cons of an open house. So pros, lots of exposure. Your home's going to get lots of exposure through an open house. Your realtor can advertise the open house on real estate websites, on social media, in industry networks, and this is going to provide you with more exposure for your listing. Number two, an open house is open to all. You'll get a lot of potential home buyers that do not know where to start. A potential positive for holding an open house is the likelihood of attracting potential home buyers who don't even know where to start the buying process. Number three, first hand experience. So the internet be, may be the fastest way to find a home, but there's nothing that overcomes or is more important than walking through a house and seeing it firsthand. Besides a number or a considerable number of people don't make appointments until they are really ready to buy a home. So you might enjoy the benefit of just attending an open house so they can get a feel of the type of house that they're looking at. Um, or the neighborhood, and they could become a serious uh, buyer in the long run. Uh, number four advantage, again, is a low pressure environment for buyers. So typically open houses provide a low pressure, uh, relaxing environment for buyers. Buyers can feel comfortable coming to view a home without the pressure of having an agent there with them, um, feeling obligated or to provide feedback. It's a way to a little bit more relaxing uh, in general. So here are some of the cons for an open house. Number one, and the most important one is safety and security uh, concerns. So an open house offers criminals the perfect opportunity to explore your home, uh, identify its weak points. It is not common for personal items to go missing during open houses. Uh, in 14 years of real estate, I've never experienced it, but there are some concerns about uh, extending an open house invitation to strangers to just stroll through the house. Your listing agent might not be able to keep an eye on all of the visitors at all times, especially if he or she is busy discussing the house in detail with a potential buyer. So make sure you remove all of your valuables that you're concerned about. Number two uh, con is tire kickers. So open houses are known to attract nosy neighbors who basically want to see your house and compare it to their own. Some other uh, people will visit the open house with no intention to purchase the home. They want to see uh, maybe a nice house or they want to look at an area or look at a home they might not even be able to afford. Overall, though, it increases your exposure. It won't necessarily increase your chance of selling the house. Uh, number three is, as I mentioned, unqualified buyers. So one of the first steps in the home buying process is obtaining a mortgage pre-approval. One of the drawbacks of having an open house is the possibility of unqualified buyers attending this open house. Uh, so the last thing is low chances of sale. So the percentage of homes that sell as a result of a real estate open house is quite low. Um, in my experience and, and seeing some statistics, it's less than 3% of homes that actually sell um, through an open house or because of an open house. So, you know, these are some of the, the cons, but again, serious buyers will schedule a showing and to view a property they like. Um, with a scheduled showing, you have uh, financially vetted the buyers that are coming through. So typically from a real estate agent's point of view, we're going to make sure they're pre-approved and they can afford the house that we're sh uh, showing. So when you're thinking about having an open house, you really need to weigh the pros and the cons and discuss it with your realtor. If you have any questions, reach out to me, make sure you like this and leave any comments below and we'll return those comments and respond to them as quick as possible. Have a great day.